Hi, I'm Sam. Welcome to my channel and this is Army Slang Part 2. Let's get straight into it. As you can see here, the first one we have is chin strap. So, what does that mean? As you can see on the picture there, for most people that would just mean something that attaches a helmet around your chin. But, what does that mean? Let's have a look here. So that generally means when you are absolutely knackered or really tired, essentially, and that could be after fears or coming back off a couple of weeks of exercise or coming back from patrol on ops, absolutely anything like that, where you are knackered, you are chin strapped. Next one, crow. So it doesn't mean the bird, it means a new recruit or it could mean the newest member of a section so for instance it'll mean a new recruit brand new out of training or it can mean the newest member of a section you could have someone who goes to another job who served 20 years in the army but they will still be considered a crow if they've been in less time than everyone else in this section and also what it usually comes with is you might hear someone talking about their time in the military and if you've served longer than them, every now and again you might just hear a wah! Which, well, that's my best crow noise anyway. So you might hear something like that and basically he's crowing you or calling you a crow bag. Okay, next one, doctor's sick note. Okay, so somebody's been to the doctor and got a doctor's sick note. So what do we call that? That is a biff chit or someone is on the biff which means they are injured or unwell and the slang the slang term for that is biff chit or on the biff okay this one popping smoke so letting off a smoke grenade and that will generally disguise the avenue that you're going down next or if you're doing a regroup in a particular area and you don't want the enemy to see you you would pop smoke but we might say that military personnel say that generally when you're leaving somewhere you're leaving work or you're leaving a party or anything like that you might say right i'm gonna pop smoke and that means you're gonna leave a particular area okay packed lunches so you're generally gonna get these if you go in on the ranges or you're going on adventure training <clears throat> but they are known for being not very nice so we call them in the army horror bags and that's the sort of sandwich you're gonna get or what you might get is some sort of random fish paste that might be in there but you also get um an apple a kit kat and a pack of crisps with that as well they're horrible. They're horrible. Yes, we call them horror bags. Okay, bone. As you can see here, and everyone thinks of a bone as what's in your body or something you give to a dog. What do we use the term bone for? We use it as slang for something that is rubbish or mundane. So what you might have is you get given a task by someone and someone will ask where you're going and you'll just tell them you've been given a bone task or a bone job to do or you're doing something bone which is rubbish or mundane okay chip shop if something is chip shop that generally means if something's chip shop it means a job has been done badly like a door in the middle of a house which you have here or it's really poor equipment so if something is chip shop it just generally means rubbish right Royal Signal. It's got the Royal Signals badge there. What do other people call the Royal Signals? How gross is that? They generally call us scaly backs, and that stems from because we're all operate uh, radio operators. Um, then we carry radio equipment on our back, and in years gone by, like in radio, um, radio one in World War One, the radios used to like leak battery acid and give people within the signals, or if 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 you like a lineman, it would give you a really a really bad back. So generally, we get called scaly backs for that. Right, the last one penguin as you can see here who what what is that used for in slang 
that is generally used for with regards to penguin is for the guys that have done their parachute regiment course they've done the physical training side of it and they're waiting to get on their jumps course because penguin is a flightless bird and they're in the paras waiting to do their parachuting course and get their wings which they then put on their uniform and then they will have wings Penguins flightless birds, so they'll be called a penguin while they're waiting to do their jumps course. So that is another load of slang to help you along your journey within the British Army, or of course, if you're just interested in it. If you have any slang terms of your own that you want to put in another video, please whack them in the comment section below. Maybe I haven't heard of some of them, especially I haven't heard of a lot generally in the RAF and the Royal Navy. So Bang them in the comment section and I can do another video on that. Other than that, take care. Bye.